everybody. Good morning. This is Jean here. I'm with Jen. Hi, everyone. We are in our front room, and um, I'm moving. She's moving. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting excited. If you're just tuning in, we are downsizing. That's what this video, Jen has come to help me today we're gonna get i got my work clothes on we're gonna get dirty today yeah we are <laughs> i've been i've gotten dirty the last like five days maxwell and i and family here um we are well, i was saying to jen what i've done is we have such a large home i've put my hand on things we can't see um things under the bed because i do have a lot of stuff 28 mm -hmm. years worth in this home things in the basement um, long story short, I got rid of van loads, van loads, donated nice things, and then um, <laughs> dozens of tr construction size trash bags out to the trash. I thought, well, I ha if I haven't seen it, so I'm, I'm in the mode, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, um, yeah it's, a, it's a good thing. Now we have to go through the stuff that I can see, yes. which is all of this, and I can only choose um a certain number number of things. undetermined number yeah i look around and i'm like can okay. i pick out what she would take i think i could pick in out. this corner what would i take uh in this corner right here yeah, right here okay i think out of all these things you're going to take your needle point yeah yeah absolutely i win yeah. and my grandmother's and my grandmother's my great grandmother's china that's coming um and again and i'm taking these books i have um I have a whole library full of books, as you know, but I can only take, actually I can take quite a few now, we measured it, okay. and I can take quite a few books. So these are all my books, um, my Tea Party books, my Victorian Mansion books. I want to know, um, is the deer head coming? Oh, the deer head is coming. Yay! That's over there. I was hoping the deer head was yeah, coming. Oh, I'm not leaving my deer head. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm like that my, was another episode. You have to watch us making yes, the deer head. Deer head, arts and crafts day. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not leaving my deer head. I'm um, like that big candelabra in the in the corner. Nice. Yeah, nice I'm taking that. that. Yeah. Um, but most of the stuff will be uh, will be left and or sold, uh, or not. Yeah, not left. Sold um, or given away. Um, and I cannot, as I said, I can only take a few things. Mm -hmm. um, Maxwell has asked we, we had we had asked maxwell that's our son again if you're tuning in maxwell's 20 years old he's autistic and he has it he's having a bit of a difficult time oh yeah it? yeah we had an iep meeting i had an iep meeting on monday oh. Oh, with 12 people sitting there from the school oh, from psychiatrists and you did know, you tell well, them what's happening well they were going through the bits and then towards the end yeah I had to, we told them, only his teacher knew. And that threw an incredible wrench, monkey wrench in the, in the business because it's in a, another county. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. So what does that mean? That means we, well, have, we have to, to register schools? him with a whole new school district. We have to get a whole new, he's in um, a, 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 a um, special ed, for challenged kids extended school year till he's 21 and um yeah. which is only not that far yeah it's, it's only, only a year it's only a year. year um but they were all geared up and now now it's like oh no so maxwell maxwell was in on the meeting because we always invite him in because it's about him yeah and um he's been pretty okay uh but I said we're not dealing with that right now. It's not for another, you know, not for another two or th two or two months or so. Our our son is moving out of his home on about December the sixteenth or thirteenth, something like that, and we will have the opportunity to take piecemeal bits over to the house. Yeah, we don't have. We're so lucky. We don't have a a closing date or a settlement. Like we will be in this home, um, getting rid of things. And then, uh, as I said before, uh, making it sort of vanilla, ready to sell, all the yeah. wallpaper off. You know, it's not this stuff. Yeah. Like making it for the general public to, to make it more saleable. Um, but Maxwell, again, coming back to him, we said, um, what would you like to take? Aww. <laughs> That's so fun. We have a, I have an old, it's not old, it's from the 80s, but as you know, comfortable as anything. Yeah. Sofas nowadays... 
They eat you. Do you know? Yeah. I mean, and they're they fall apart. They fall time. apart in three years. Yeah. You haven't even finished paying for them. If you know. yeah, and they because we've had that. My sofa from the nineteen the late eighties is so incredibly comfortable. Um, so. Yeah, I got a new slip cover because Maxwell comes in every day and sleeps has a nap on that sofa. So that was very important to him. His bed, he collects Hot Wheels, okay. so he has a whole Hot Wheel collection. Um, so his uh, his Hot Wheel collection, his bed, which was my gr my grandmother's bed, oh. her brass bed. He's been he's been in. Um, he we have a trampoline. He wants a trampoline. He's like, oh, can we have the trampoline? I'm like, oh, okay, you know, we can bring the trampoline. Yeah. And um, his oh, he has his he has a ukulele, okay. and his chessboard, so and his rig, of course, his yeah. driving yeah, rig. Yeah, so that's very important. So it's very very important, and he's he's stressed out about getting it up from the basement. It's yeah. an incredible, very realistic. I told you folks, very realistic driving rig. It's almost the price of a car. Yeah. I mean, it is. Fabulous! It is fabulous because he'll never be able to drive. Oh, some people said, "Why can't you?" Because it's six acres. Like, why don't you get like a, a golf cart? Oh, well, yeah. Well, my son has a tractor, so That's he can. A great idea. Isn't that a good idea? Yeah. Like we, yeah, that might work. So he can drive. You I know. always wanted a golf cart. I know. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, that'd be fun. So. Um, you that's Maxwell. Myself on the golf cart. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. So another thing with Maxwell, though, um, this whole transition, huge for yeah. all of us. Yeah. I, I was in here, I'm bouncing all over. I was in here yesterday, and I fell on the floor crying. Aww. I was like, oh, this is so hard. And you're going to have so much fun redecorating, though. I know, though. I know. And that, but everybody, I said, I'm, I get, uh, there's two camps I've come to the conclusion, with all yeah. due respect to the other camp. There's the camp of, it's just stuff. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. But then there's the camp of been there, done that. Oh my word, how hard. Yeah. And it's, if you're like me, this is incredibly hard. Probably one of the hardest things I'll have to do. Yeah. They're up there. I've had, I've had about four dramatic things in my life. This is up there. Yeah. Um, I, as, as an intelligent and logical person, understand and totally believe that at the end of the day, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm going to be, as people say, you're going to breathe light, you're going to feel yeah. lighter. Yeah. I it's don't, the process. It is the process. And, yeah. and I, I've never not been able to breathe in my own home. Other people can't. Yeah. It's too much, I mean, too much stuff, you know. But I've never, I've always felt light in my home. I've always felt I've been able to breathe. I've surrounded up myself. Um, and even my family, although they're all minimalist now. <laughs> so maybe they couldn't breathe. <laughs> That is pretty funny. That is, and all the boys, all our kids. Actually, Malia's not. Okay. Malia yeah. has stuff. Our daughter has stuff. Girl after my own art. <laughs> but my, our boys have, you know, not too, not too much. No. But, um, uh, so yeah, they're going to, and all of a sudden I said before, they're all going to come in and be like, oh, mom, I want that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, take it. So um, it's just Maxwell we're slightly concerned about. Yeah. Um, he, we have a, um, if any of you deal with autism you realize change very very difficult and routine yeah and with my little etsy shop <laughs> maxwell it's maxwell and i we go to the post office yeah and we have this incredible routine yeah of, what is it well i pack up the things i stay in the car waiting for Mac Maxwell goes into the post office by okay. himself. Um, he knows the postmaster and the woman. The postmaster's not wonderful. The woman is awesome, yeah. and she really likes Maxwell. He comes out with the receipt and the tracking number, and then he sits and he reads. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, he sits and tells me the tracking number, and then I send it to the person. To the person. And then we pull out, go the same exact way. <laughs> there was a farm stand that is no longer there. Yeah, I know right where you need and, and I always say, ah, the farm stand's gone. And so we go to that point and Maxwell goes, ah, the farm stand's gone. So we literally have this yeah. routine. We are moving a minute closer to you. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, just that yeah. side. Yeah. And I said to Maxwell, oh, we have to, I shouldn't have said it, because I'm like, oh, we have to find the post office. And he's like, we got a huge post office. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's like, no, we can still go to the same post office. Aww. 
And he said, we're creatures of routine. <laughs> he hears me say that. And I'm like, i.e., we have a boring life. <laughs> and um, I said, oh, no, don't worry about it. Well, you know, maybe, I said, we, we can go to this post office, but maybe we can just see if there's real nice people at that post office. So it's just like... Yeah, you got to, like, baby step everything. Baby step Maxwell. Yeah. And I, you know, as I said before, he takes his cue from me, and this whole thing is... It's not overwhelming. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. So right now, not to go on and on, um, what else? Today, Jen is going to help me. What are we going to do? We are going to, um, well, I have, since I've had a large family, I have about, about 30 pots and pans. We're going to organize pots and pans. We're going to organize pots and pans. Okay. And then we're going to go. We're going to go in the vans and donate some stuff, a whole okay. van load. And then we are going to go around the house, like a preliminary, what I really like want. Like this absolutely. This has to come. Yeah. Yes. Um, we'll have to get the stickers for that. Okay. And then we're going to get stickers for what will go into a small storage unit because I'm, I'm not getting rid of it. Um, so that's, okay. that's where we are today. Um, it's still... A, a lot. I'm looking around. <laughs> it'll be good. It'll be fine. It'll be fine? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine. Do you think you'll decorate the same in your new house? I can't. Okay. Uh, the well, they have walls, right? Yeah, they, they don't have a lot. Oh, no. Oh, it's that open concept? Okay, open concept. Yeah. The sewing room, oh, they have a massive sewing room. Everybody's excited about my sewing room. I'm so excited about it. That was the deal. Room. That was the deal maker. Yeah, because I, as I was saying before, I don't, I don't love this house. I, I mean, it's awesome. It's a great house, but I never envisioned. It's not your style. It's not my style. Yeah. I, I, I'm more traditional or colonial, or you know. Yeah, yeah. The house doesn't really have a face, and Maxwell, out of the blue, said that. That's not for me. He's like, it doesn't have a face. Oh. And I'm like, it doesn't. Like our house has eyes. Yeah. And the porch is a nose, and yeah. and you know, uh, we're such visual people, and I'm like, it doesn't really have a face. So our son's going to put a porch on it. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> because I'm like, it doesn't have a face. And he said, well, I'll just build a porch. Would that make a face? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then at the back, it has a deck. Very well, that, You'll love that. That beautiful deck. But we also always, always, always have had a pergola. Yeah. And he's like, I'll build you a pergola over the deck. Awesome. So he's building a pergola over the deck. Um, we are, oh, he has storage. Okay. He has storage in his office building, which is, I don't know, 20,000 square foot or something. Ridiculous. And he's like, put your stuff in my storage area. Perfect. Then you don't have to pay for storage. I don't have to pay for storage. I'm like, oh, thank you. So everything is coming together. Yeah. We are taking our chandeliers. Nice. Um, that, that will, it will look like you. When yes. You're and I can see it. It's going to yeah. look like me on a very small scale. Yeah. Um, our, our, our family room, our, we only have one living room, is going to be the red. It, I've okay. always had a red, dark family room and our living room now is going to be those nice. those jewel tones yeah um i've always had a light room but my sewing room will sort of look like this nice so you know That'll variation yeah it's going to be really really nice i'm so excited about our sew my sewing room like i said that was the deal maker oh i bet yeah i walked in there three years ago and i'm like oh my word this would make an awesome sewing room and over the years i've often thought that because they just so have funny. toys and you know, it's a playroom. It's a playroom, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I, I walk in, I'm like, oh, wow, this is awesome. So anyway, that's that. We are positive. Yes. Jen's here holding my hand. Malia is coming home from... Finally, Malia! I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Two and a half months. No, it's in on November, November 3rd. It's been so long. It's been so... Like about a year. It's been so long. And um, we're following them, and we, we, we duo them almost every other day. Um, in Vietnam, our daughter and her husband are in Vietnam, Korea. Yeah. They're going to Tokyo. Wow. Um, they're going to... Trip of a lifetime. Yeah, trip of a lifetime. Two and a half months. But we miss them, and she's, she's, missing, she's missing us. She goes, I go away, and everything happens. Yeah. You went away. I know. 
I was, I was only like on sa Saturday of uh, uh, 10 days. So I saw Jean Saturday. At an anniversary party. Yes, for us. It was our wonderful. 20th anniversary. Our friends and family all came it was together. Wonderful. It was a lovely night. But we had planned the next day already, unknowing about this surprise party, that we were going away for a few days for our, our 20th anniversary. Just my husband and I. My in-laws were going to watch the kids. And I'm we're driving home from Chikatik Island. Hence the sweatshirt. Um, which is in Virginia. And I go, we're listening to music or whatever on my phone. I'm streaming music. And then I'm going through my email and I'm a subscriber of Jean's YouTube channel, of course. So I get an email whenever she posts something. So I saw she posted a video and it said, big changes. Yeah. And I go, big changes? I don't know of any big changes. So I <laughs> click on the video and my husband's driving, but my Bluetooth is connected. So the sound comes so through the whole car. <laughs> And I'm crying. So I'm watching the video. I'm like, oh my gosh. The funniest part was, it wasn't funny at the moment. Yeah. Jean has several kids that have just moved yes. recently. Yeah. Some don't live so close so to me. I know. And I thought she was talking about another son who I knew had rentals on his property yeah. because she didn't say right away what was happening. Yeah. She said a son and moving. Yeah. And my brain right away was like, <gasps> is she moving into one of his rentals that's super far away? And it's a half hour away. Well, if, I mean, she that's, lives like five minutes, right? Yeah, now. we're, we're, we're together. Not so, super far. But like, I know, all the families within half an hour. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I go away and she moves super I know. far away. I didn't get a chance to see you then. I wasn't there on Thursday. Yeah, evening. and we were away. You were away. And then oh. we, and then um, all of a sudden I realized, oh, that's closer. Yes. <laughs> it's yeah. that one's place. Yeah. So yeah. it was funny. And then I was like. Just watching the whole thing, and yeah. I texted her and I go, I go away for a couple of days. And you're I know. And Malia, Malia's in Vietnam, and she texted. She she said, yeah, I go away for a little while, and you're moving. You're, yeah. you're selling our family home, yeah. and I'm like, everything happens quickly. We yeah. do it. Everything's going to be okay. I've had a few meltdowns. I really have. Yeah. I, I I this is early in the morning, so I like. Ah. Last night I was so Aww. tired. I was exhausted. Like. And it's a lot of work. Oh, it's a lot of work to move any size yes, house. Yes. So let alone let, let alone, alone this. one you've yeah. been this yeah. long, With and then ten children. Yeah, yeah, and you have every inch of it decorated. Yes, so yeah. that makes it yeah. more for you yeah. Yeah. to go through. It's so our home is going to be a miniature this home. Um, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I mean, I, I want to be there when you do your reveal. Oh, I know, I know, yeah. I know. And I'm going to video my selling room. It's it's going to be awesome. So yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Everything is okay. Uh, prayers for Maxwell because he's oh, yeah. having a little bit of a hard time, but he's he'll, he's resilient. He'll be cool. He's gonna do great. He's gonna be okay. Yeah, he's gonna be okay. We just um, he's our main concern, so it's gonna be okay. And as I say, he always takes his cue from me, and I'm I find it exhausting to be like. Ah! I just want to cry, <laughs> but I don't. It's in front of him. I'm like, it's okay. It's cool. Yeah. And then it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So anyway, that's today's what we're going to do. We're going to sort out. All right. We got to get working. We got to get working. All right, folks. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.